YouTube Chicks <laughs> Get ready You know what to do Chicks so listen, Chicks Smooth Hey Chicks Smooth Appreciate all the coverage that you have been doing I've been watching your shit for a while I just subscribed to your shit too bro Hey man, you guys wanted Kodak's attention, now you got it. Now it was only a couple days ago when Top 5 and Presser went to Lil Tyler's show in Toronto to basically press him. Now luckily enough, Lil Tyler was not there. His security guards went to the show early, saw shit was looking kinda funny and told them not to pull up. Now this was all because Lil Tyler is affiliated with Kodak Black. This was their way of basically telling Kodak Black, hey listen bro, if we can't get to you, we're gonna get to your mans. With the little Tyler show. Oh, yo, bro, I told you. Okay, look, this kid never came into the venue once. Like, I think his security maybe, like, came through the back door. I seen, like, two guys come through the back door. They checked it out. They talked to some other security, and then they left. They never, you know, he never once came inside the venue once. I never seen him. I never seen his manager. He never performed. He never did nothing, dog. Why? Bro, he was scared for you, dog. I swear to God, like they were, they were talking about you. They were like, "Oh, five tried to come on in from outside." But yo, you gotta remember, this guy's manager is Kodak Black's manager, so they already know about that. You see what I'm saying? That's crazy. Now, if you guys did not watch that video, please make sure you guys go check it out here. Now, everybody in the comments pretty much agreed that was a sucker move. Lil Tyler does not act tough. He does not present himself as a gangster. There's so many other rappers that are friends with Kodak Black you can actually press that are actually about that life. Last night, Kodak Black jumped on Instagram Live to respond to Presser and Top 5. He told them Lil Tyler has nothing to do with any of the street stuff they got going on. And he also let them know exactly what would happen if Kodak actually saw them in person again. Here's what he said. I ain't finna say, bro, when we on that, I ain't gonna say, bro, kid. I ain't gonna say all that, cause, like, all us when we men, I believe, like, Every man should have something in them, like some type of, like, you know, tiger a lion in them some kind of way in some sort. But it's like, man, you know, bro, I don't got nothing to do with shit. And, and yeah, bro, I don't got nothing to do with shit. And he don't get that vibe off. But it's like, homie, like, I'm saying, don't check it, cause that is always easy. Yeah, bro, I don't get that vibe off. So I don't respect it, man. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I just, I, I, I just, I don't respect that shit, cause these fuck niggas been, 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 these fuck niggas been like, they been like, they been like, um, yeah, reaching for too long, homie, and like, every little shit, I'm like, bitch, I'm at my fashion show, you niggas pussy as fuck, come at my fashion show, bitch, you can't look in the crowd, trust me, if I would've knew you niggas in the crowd, homie, I would've did the same shit I did to all you niggas when I saw y'all, I'll punch you up. And this nigga who just got a job would punch you up too. Ain't no difference. I'm not why you niggas had to shoot. You been because it's like I ain't I ain't tripping. You would have did your bit one. Cool. Let's do it, homie. A nigga, a fresh, nigga, 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 fresh shot on paper. So I was kind of like moving certain places without no fire sometimes. But it's like I ain't tripping because it really was. It wasn't even no smoke. Anyway, I'm saying they be like on no shit. Like, like no shit, like okay, if I would have saw you niggas and got you, you know, got you niggas smack, you know, just one of them crazy. It's like, oh yeah, I see you niggas punch you up, punch you up, homie. Like, dude, bitch, me and my homeboy, two of us, we beat up four of y'all, homie. <laughs> the fuck, homie, like, you fuck niggas, like, that's gay as shit. It was two niggas, like, two me and one of the dog. I mean, we beat four of you niggas up, period. Everything, everything a nigga touch and fall like fucking like glass shit like glass. That shit we touch that shit, touch that chin, tap that chin, that shit shallow. Nigga tap that chin is breaking. Nigga tap that shit is shallow. That's it. I'm mm -hmm. period. And nigga, and like, oh, if I was there, I would've did. Fuck you and did shit, baby face side boy. You mean nigga older than me? You got a damn chin. You ain't got no damn. You ain't got a damn. Come on, man, tighten down my way, please. Mm -hmm. This shit, bro. That shit, yeah, it's hell. I'm mean, gonna like Bill and Tyler be zooming, man. Mm -hmm. That's crazy as shit. So, like, alright, niggas want juice, bro. Alright, get it from me, bro. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a little juice on me. I ain't even gonna do this, but I'm gonna need feel, feel straight like that. Like, bro, I had to turn around from his show 
and niggas in the crowd like, oh, oh, Brain came to the show. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, that shit ain't nothing to do with him. Like, I mean, I ain't no way you gonna make, bro, look pussy or none of that shit. And I just see her don't say shit. Now, after seeing Kodak Black basically threaten violence against them, Top 5 and Presser took to Instagram to respond back to Kodak. Here's what they said. I hold that pink real quick, cuz. The man, yo, the man, yo, the man's moving like he would have punched. The man likes to box, eh? Yeah. He likes to box, huh? Hold that pink like yeah, some yeah, box, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, I think the man seen the two Richard Millies and the man woke up seen two Richard My Millies. My word, yo, bro, I just came out of jail. Him, huh? I just came out of jail. Two weeks ago, I'm Richard and Kodak. He's depressed, meth baby. He's a meth baby. That's He's a meth baby, big bud. You're Richard and Hoda? I'm Richard and him. You're and he got caught top and he never rode. Man go, got go, go shot and never rode. Yo, go. Tell them to go tag Hoda Pink real quick. Bro. Where's Hoda Pink? You want to speak the man's name like the man or some bitches? And you posting some death ass bitches that a man I'm done ran through. Holy fuck. <laughs> it's a bad day in this industry. Come on, man. Get hit up and don't do shit. Get hit up and don't do shit. You know who shot you and do shit. You're lucky I wasn't there. I would have left your bitch ass. What are you smoking over there? I wish you could put Kodak in your blood. Job not successful. <laughs> not successful. Ain't did not shit. He ain't did shit to Kodak, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Niggas ain't do shit. Niggas Kodak, ain't do you, shit you, you know what's up. Just be calling niggas name for no reason, dog. You know what's up, Kodak. And I look at a hooker you with. They look a hooker thing you with. I was on the run for first degree murder, bending that in a mansion. Run yeah. around my mansion. She was running around the mansion naked. Long live Draco the ruler. One. Man, whatever happened to keeping it off the nets and keeping it in the streets? If you know that you've done something incriminating or you're about to do something that's going to incriminate yourself, it's probably best to stay off Instagram live. The small little clout and attention that comes from this is not worth what the end result is going to be. Now, nobody is saying that you gotta be scared of Kodak Black, but keep in mind, Kodak does not ever have to step foot into Toronto to make it as an artist. But and top five you guys both have to come to the states is all this beefing and threatening each other really worth being paranoid over and somebody gotta go find drake where's drizzy drake while all this is going on you're basically sitting back and watching your mans that you paid for his lawyers to get him out of prison go crazy you could possibly be implicated in some shit if things go left drake i hope you know that you guys get in the comments below tell me what you guys think about kodak's response and top five and presser's response back to kodak Post comments below, subscribe to my channel and like this video. I'll see you guys later, man.